Actual key challenges in Nigeria education sector and we prefer solution. Today we told you we're bringing you a special edition, a special conversation on governance and quality education. How the two works together and you know we've been having a long conversation online. I actually compiled our questions here but it was not my making that uh, our guest was held by traffic so but all the same we have in here uh, mr sore the publisher of sarah reporter welcome sir thank you so much for bringing me on your show good to have good you to all your listeners <laughs> so we have a long questions pile up for you um basically what we do here where we did you get the questions from <laughs> <laughs> from the internet because Fantastic. everybody they were happy to have you around Fantastic. so but i'll ask my own question before i start really now their question yes. um, first and foremost we're looking at education in this country yes. and by your work you get to work with a whole lot of young people that's correct and what you do is a knowledge economy yes so far how can you measure productivity Activity and then comparing it with the output of our education system. So uh, let me just say that apart from running a website, uh, a globally acclaimed website, I'm also a teacher. I teach every, I teach once uh, every fall season, which is from September to December, and I've done that for 10 years, teaching post-colonial Africa history at the School of Visual Arts in New York. So I bring to this conversation and international experience, being a professor or teacher, as they call it, is uh, we have a long way to go. I have to tell you uh, that even to the level that you can reduce this to class size, we have not started yet. I <coughs> was privileged to speak to law students at the University of Lagos a few weeks ago. I think about five or six weeks ago, or six weeks ago, and. Um, when we were going for this event, I saw law school students, law school students now, sitting on the floor, and you know there was no electricity, and everybody was sweating, and I said to myself, this is definitely not good for education. This is not how to educate young people, and I, I remember that this is what is obtainable everywhere. One of the things I do as well as a news reporter is to uh, sometimes profile the worst schools in Nigeria, and I find them everywhere, every nook and cranny of Nigeria. But what can we do to save the education sector? One is that we have to increase the budget that goes to education. And seriously, we have to supervise the people that are running the education system. Everywhere you go, there's not enough quality administrators, quality teachers, quality equipment, facilities that can truly make people get educated. Let me give you an example. The library of my daughter, her personal book collection, is bigger than that of my secondary school when I graduated. I went back there. They were not up to six books. My daughter probably has like 200 books, you know, some of them cartoon novels. And it just was very, very sad to know that just one person has more books than the 300 students of my high school. And also, this year, I had to help recruit teachers for my secondary school so that students there could do work, having enough teachers to help them uh, go through that process. So, and I'm talking at the local level. So you imagine a country that needs to train over 70 million young people who and we're getting more young people, people. Uh, and uh, we just don't have adequate facilities we don't have quality administrators we don't have quality teachers we don't have the equipment that can make it happen for people to learn so people are just learning on instinct and that is probably how i learned too but it will be it will be something uh, if we can change all of that uh, radically uh, very soon we will. Yes. Um, so let, let me delve to our questions. So our uh, followers online will not think we light them. And um, one of the questions we have here is from um, Trisha Lucky. Um, she said, Mr. Sore, how do we synergize our growing education sector with entertainment sector? So much going to entertainment and then almost zero to knowledge economy. But you've been able to work with, in the area of knowledge and people are looking at what you do. How do we make it a culture in Nigeria? First thing, you have to get people to start reading. Uh, the reading culture is almost dead. There's nothing wrong with entertainment, okay? In fact, entertainment could be, if you 
do it very well it could be a form of education right so these days the way education works or the way and the knowledge based economy you're talking about works is that you can obtain your books online you know that's what they call audio books so the same device that you use in listening to the video can also be the same device I use in listening to your chemistry books read to you online I mean through audio books your chemistry books your mathematics books so but we're not there we have not tapped into what how to even marry entertainment with education I mean practical education because I would say this to you even though we're here talking about we don't have libraries libraries are no longer important they're not as important as they used to be because you have to separate between the aesthetic physical library that is library with books but the world has moved now through technology into books that contain several libraries what am i telling you there's something they call notebook which is your laptop right there's a tablet that you're carrying your cell phone you can have thousands and thousands and thousands of books in any of these devices and reach more people than you would if you had a library full of books.